Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to F1 Cybem Racing Team 2023, which will be our penultimate episode of the series on the Zerka Plays channel as we only have two races left of the season. Today being Las Vegas, and I've literally not raced the track ever before. I feel like I must have seen videos before of like a run through of what happens on the track, but I have no idea. And I'm actually very excited to play this episode because I'm just kind of curious to see how it plays out, what the track's like. It gets to be a Vegas. Now, Vegas is a great place. I love Vegas. So I'm just curious to see what it all looks like. I need a new gearbox that was struggling in the last race, even though we won. I'm going to put whole new parts on the car because I can. The rest of all fine. Now R&D, let's go to here. Let's get some new bits on the car if I can in time for either race. It's all chassis parts, which will be done. It's, oh, it's just a part of risk because it happens automatically, which is fine. It's basically sorts us for next season by having these done. And sure, durability one. I'd, at this point, it's too late in the season to really have a massive difference to anything. I'm not going to go up the leaderboards any, at all, really. Um, what I also should do is go to driver perks. I could... I'll wait on that. I'm by that because resource points are the key to getting your car to be better and bigger throughout. Nice sponsors. Now, this was Shark. Now, Shark was an awful sponsor for me in the end because we changed the rules to have strict corner cutting and track limits, which meant that I basically never got paid my goal bonus on this one. So I need to find a goal bonus that I can do. P10 are better. Score more points in a team above you. No. Fastest lap. Free constructor points. Mm, it's still hard. That is still hard. No dumps in a team is like, should be pretty guaranteed. But it's only a weekly income of 99k. Yeah, maybe you should just look at the weekly income. That was 120k. P15 or better is feasible, but not guaranteed. Let's go guaranteed. And what was the one I was looking at just then? It was uh, a Turope. We've had this one before, haven't we? We've also got, actually, I can get a third sponsor. Maybe I should make one riskier one. I might just go for the end one up here again, uh, which was, what was it? It's this one. Zanetto. So let's get these sponsors on the car. So Shark's got to come off because it's not a sponsor anymore. Let's get Zanetto on the side. Is that if they can, whatever that one is. Oh, look okay. at it. It'll be on the front still. That's quite nice. On the front, it should hear Uterpe's easy. That stays there. This one becomes Zanetto. This one also has to come Uterpe, I'd say. New look whip. Still not great. We didn't get, we didn't get a custom subbing uh, racing team livery for the car this year, which kind of sucks. But oh, well. No one hit me up about it. I think maybe it's harder to do this year. I think people haven't done them as much. Lovely. Right, activity's done. And we're off to the Vegas GP. I guess it's not a sprint. It will be the first ever race in Las Vegas. So I guess it will just be straight into a race. We've been looking into our overall use of social media as a team and believe that by making our own series of videos, a variety of content could boost our following. We require a small budget, but it would be worth the funds to, to increase our awareness, especially with our younger fan base. Who would I be to say, no, don't make content, you know? We have to make content. But we've got to build that relationship with our fan base. Let's go to the race weekend, though. Las Vegas. Looks like we go down the strip here. There's a Cosmo and the Aria in the background. you got the fake Apple Tower there. And I guess it's Caesar's Palace to our right. No, it's the Bellagio, because that's where the fountains are. Yes, the fountains are. Bless Bellagio on the right-hand side. Me, I know Vegas very, very well. I have walked up and down that strip many a time, many a late nights, many a good time. Here it is. There's the Bellagio, there's Caesar's Palace in the background. But they call them saying Kills Hotel Plaza and Nevada. Let's go time management first, quality pace. Let's go time management first. Let's get out there and see what it's like to drive. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see how hard this track actually is. So we're going... Wait, I took a grid penalty. Oh my god, I didn't think about that. Yeah, by getting a new part, I'm taking a grid penalty. Oh, you donut. Oh well. Who wasn't going to qualify that well on this race anyway, was I? I think we're down the back roads of Vegas here. Well, not back roads, but just the what? Oh, so that's a full on flat out. That's going to suck for me. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. That's a big left. A big right as well. There's that new dome. I haven't seen that too far. That looks that's pretty cool, too fair, the big dome. Oh my god, I'm it's gonna be like the what was it the was it the Saudi race, Jeddah? At the start of the season in the series, I was all for that. I think it's one of those races where you know what we can just say bye to any means of anything good happening here. What an invalid lap, I'm not counting my lap. Oh my god, done it again. It's a horror show right now. Ignore everything you're seeing. Let's get to grips with the actual track, shall we? Yeah, I'll just take my whole front wing off. Okay? It's a flashback coach practice. It makes you flashback, in fact. Jimmy, an option. Yeah, I don't know if our car would do it's going to perform that well in this track, I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to perform very well either, by the looks of it. Let's try and do a clean lap behind Snowder, shall we? 
Gotta try and stay on the racing line. Oh, way too wide. I've taken off my whole tire. If you care for where you hit the wall and you're just gone, mate. Ideally, I'd get around Yuki somehow because, well, yeah, we'll just take out that. Do your front wing in. Either way, it works, you know. All right, get here, Yuki Sonoda. Get here, get here, get here. I'm flat out. Ah! <laughs> let's go back to the garage. Let's do a new practice program and let's try and do an actual clean lap because at this rate, this episode will be four minutes long because I'm not going to be able to get a single lap in that's legit. I am stinking up the gaff beyond belief. Car repairs have set us back a little. That's all right. It happens, man. We had to fix up a car a little bit, didn't we? That's fine. All right, here we go. New practice program, Las Vegas. I'm not seeing no first place happening on this track. I'm not going to lie. Brazil was a freak accident, I think. Okay, this is far from quality pace here we're doing, you can see. Almost a second behind quality pace already. So I wouldn't say it's going well. We are 1.1 seconds behind quality pace. It's going awfully. We are in the red. I repeat, we are in the red very, very clearly. It is not looking good, bruv, as they would say. I think we've got a clean sex here. What's going on? Now I have. Ooh, it's not looking good at all, my friends. Okay, so in our practice program, we got what? Three out, three out of five done, which is fine. Now, race strategy, the final practice program, and I'll sim the rest as always. We're going to quali, feeling not confident in any way, shape, or form. But it's fine. It's so fine because the driving down Las Vegas Strip, you have Caesar's Palace, you have the Cosmo, Aria, whatever the Eiffel Tower one is, I remember. The Venetian on the left hand side as well. The wind behind us. Trump Tower's back there on the back right somewhere. MGM Grand ahead of us, you can see it just about. I might just fuck around and book a trip to Vegas at this point. How am I so off pace though? Yeah, I just not, not nailed down the turns at all yet. And uh, in this section, I'm awful. Like, literally need help here. I get on the gas too early and too hard. I get my back end out. I can't get the turns right. I can't even kiss the apexes. I think I've got to pull off the gas a little bit here, but I'm not sure. Nice handled. Overtake on. BRS as well. I right, we full send it. We just really utilize the speed of our car, which apparently is pretty fast at the moment. Racing line, did I stay on it this time? Yeah, we go. Right, there's those things done. Okay, so we're gonna go, yeah, we actually are going into quality and, or not, we're gonna do sim practice first. I probably could do some more driving and laps of the track, but I can't even be asked, you know, it, it's, it's night time, it's sleepy times. I wanna make sure we get into the quality, into the race. It could be some drama in this race. I feel like maybe I could mess up, I like some damage. Might be a lot of flashbacks, who knows? Or maybe we just crash, we're out of the race straight away and we skip into, into Abu Dhabi for the second part of this video. All right, sim those. We've got two minutes left. So to end that session and go to the next practice to sim the rest of them. We sim this one. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We sim this one. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Might have time for a little quick sim of one of the other ones. Uh, oh, I wish we could have taken a risk there. I should, I should have taken a risk. But if I'd taken one risk and got it, there's a chance. Oh, well. Uh, we've got five out of five, five out of five, and then four out of five, which is pretty good. Five, five, four. Don't forget that I will get a five place grid penalty because I installed a new gearbox and it was an extra gearbox out of my, I guess, regulation for the season. I had four uh, and it's my fifth gearbox of the season. So I took a penalty for that, which is probably not the worst idea because ultimately in this race, I don't know the track. I'm going to be poo at it. I at least know Yas Marina, which is the next race in Abu Dhabi. We can go out of a bang at least maybe and get a good race for that one. And if people want it, then maybe just maybe we can continue the series over on Zerka Plus here and there. If not, I could also move into Breaking Point instead um, and play that out because we've not played it on this game at all as of yet. We move that on Zerka Plus. That would be a good idea. So it's a bit more story based and you get like three or four laps and something cool happens. You know, it's got cutscenes and stuff. That'd be quite nice. So let me know if you want to see that. But let's get out on our flying lap for our first lap for qualifying of the F1 Las Vegas 2023 GP. 
And we got someone ahead of us already, which is not good. Oh my god, Logan Sargent's out of the way. I was approaching him with way too much pace. Come on, let's see what he got. Feels like a decent start. Not bad. I'm stinky at this sector. Oh my god. And you can tell because Logan was up my bum. That's how you know it's bad. But it's fine. We go. We're on a straight line. Straight line speed comes in. We'll be pulled away from Logan a little bit. Let's see. We are pulling from Sergeant quite a bit, actually. Are we? We got you. We are gapping him. We're in that max revs right there. Quite a heavy straight line speed section of the track, that isn't it, really? Just this and the, the, this straight line here and the previous one. We went at P5, which is not, honestly, it's not the worst in the world. I No, it is actually quite. Uh, oh, we'll see. We'll see. Chevy got 134 and I dropped to 133. Russell with a 132.1. So a lot of the top 10 will get into 132s quite easily. Okay, everyone's left me the lap. I'm in the Oscar Piastri. I'm down in P12. Again, like I said, not the worst, but you'll see here. My sector, my sector three is the actually a purple sector three. I guess I must have had a powertrain development that was actually really good. I was like, seemed to seem like one of the fastest cars on the grid. Anyway, let's get out there again, opposed to waffling. We'll do the same set of softs. We'll go out for a lap that's a bit more experienced. And then we'll do a brand new, fresh set of compounds for the final lap. And that's what we need to try and do the best lap possible. This one is just, can you try and improve on last one? Even though you're on the same tires. Which is a harder task. Sit in P12, though, which means I will start the race in P17. Which is not ideal at all. So I could do a qualifying a bit better. Keep an eye on that top right hand window. And that's where you'll see what my current time is. If it goes green, then I'm faster than my previous lap. If it goes red, then I'm currently running slower than my previous lap. So you'll see it's currently green. I'm faster than last lap. Got into red there, maybe later on the break. Earlier on the break, sorry, maybe. Worse uh, en entrance into that corner there. I've like handled this better though. The computer says no, I have not handled that better. In fact, I've handled it slower somehow, which makes absolutely no sense to me. I feel like I did much better there, but oh well. Brought too much pace into this turn, and I've effed it. I've royally effed it. Oh, I catch so much pace into that corner by trying to stay on the gas for longer and it's done me in. So we now go into the final lap there. We go change our tires quite quickly. Yeah, they release people now. Let's get out there with the releases. Remember last time at Brazil, I thought I'd be smart. I was trying to be last out, or last across the line so you get the best like track temperature and stuff. But let's see. One minute 11, forget that. Currently in P13, only one person's improved their lap. Was it Oscar Piastri? I don't know. Bit of traffic ahead of us, let's slow it down through here. Let's go, right. More aggressive in the corners, I'd say, it would be our best bet. Just aggro everywhere, working so far. Aggro, 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 aggro. Slower there. Faster through here. Nice. Love that. Six temps ahead currently. Maintain the speed. Maintain the speed, please. Nice. That was good speed carry through there, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Going to four temps faster. Okay, 460 thousandths faster. Into P9 in the top 10 qualifying, which means we'll start on the grid tomorrow at the Vegas GP in P14. Not ideal, but hopefully this new gearbox will make all the difference, and it should do. Ahead of the two Alpines of Gazi and Ocon, ahead of Piastri. And how did Chadwick get on? Did we improve? P20, above an Alfa Tauri and Bottas in the uh, Alfa Romeo. It's definitely better. We're getting there. Okay, here we go. 
Seems to be so busy there. Like I said before, I think it was like a good idea to go. There'd be sick to go there during the race. Actually, go see this race for the first one ever. It's been so busy there and so expensive. It's so hard to get around because of obviously the trap being in place. I like guess it's a good idea on paper, but it's pretty better to watch at home. I don't know. I'll think about it. Oh, we start around, around the corner a little bit. Good start. Go on, son. Go on, son. Go on, son. Get out of my way. I'm in. Ah, oh, double winging a little bit. Oh, the wing damage could play a factor here as Gasly squeezes past me. Straight off the bat. Um, I have to get to the wing fix, probably. I'm going to go in for pit, but I'm going to have to it for first half of the race. Me versus Russell right now. But I am looking like I'm the one holding up the group right now because F1 is stacked behind me and there's a big group ahead of me and there's a gap here. Oh god, I've cut the corner. But the game said it's fine. But we're back in P9 where we qualified. George Russell goes on my inside. I've given him the way that he deserves and needs. He's not He's not going for it. We are holding our own on the straight here. It's monumental. The Simon Racing Team car versus the Mercedes, and we are holding our own. Okay, you're in the top 10. And once again, I've had a collision with Russell here. I've got a car either side of me right now. This is going to get very tasty, too tasty maybe. As Piaggi also goes past me. I'm just scared here, you know, like one wrong move and you're taking out the car in front of you and yourself. Can't imagine doing it in real life. You can comprehend. Yeah, I've done my way. I've done my. Oh. Copy. Oh no 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 no! Oh god! Oh no! Oh, sorry sorry! I was I was focused on the bottom right. <laughs> As I was saying, you know, like your race will fall apart very quickly. I'm praying on a safety car. Alonso goes past us. I've gone past Alonso. I've got the pace. Got my overtake on. I have pulled away from Alonso quite a lot there. So turning to be considerably harder now. My wing is damaged on both sides. At least it's balanced out, I guess, a little bit. And the gap has formed ahead of me to Piastri. There is now DRS uh, zones activated, so Alonso should go flying past me soon when we get to that DRS section. Russell's four seconds away, though. Oh my god, I've really been holding up this section behind me. All right, here goes Alonso. I'm battling it. I'm winning the battle. And what improvement have they done to my car? Because we move now. Okay, what? Who was that? Now there's a VSCR, and I didn't. I might go for the. I've gone for the pit because of the VSC. I'm hoping it was a smart choice here. We'll see. We're on lap four of 18. I might have to. I haven't got to pit again. The mediums might last. But I got smacked into a wall. There's a five second delay there. Depends how fast Delta pace is. All right, there we go. VSC's ending. F finally managed to sort it out. I wish there was a button still that you could just press for VSC and safety car, honestly. Delta pace is so annoying to maintain properly. I've right, got a fresh new wing on. Fresh new tires. They've got to last 18 laps. But we have pitted at a time that might be mildly appropriate and may have saved us some time here, but we may have fluffed it entirely. We've got clean air in front of us, you know, there's no traffic to stop us, no jewels to try and get involved in. They're going to cause damage or slow me down. So let's just race our race. We're 13 seconds or 14 seconds behind Chadwick. They have yet to pit. Maybe the VSC lasted, it lasted a little bit longer been good, but it didn't last that long, did it really? So it might not work out. Obviously, this all then now hangs on the balance of if there's another safety car. There's another one, then that kind of screws me over. Alonso had the same idea as me, or didn't have the same idea as me. Alonso had damage too. I'm guessing I closed off Alonso and he crashed into me on the inside. Only 10 seconds now. You'll see it like two seconds per lap right now. I'm catching up with Chadwick. Hopefully the pit window will open in time. I think the pit window is like 8 to 11, right? My strategy's changed now, so I actually know. So hopefully they will go into pit at like around lap 8, 9. Hopefully that's when I pull out of them, but uh, no, I'll be too far off them still, won't I? Only 7 seconds now. We're moving, we're moving! 
What's that? Oh my god, Alonso's here. Where, where have you come from? You got two seconds behind me a second ago. Oh no, not again, Alonso. Good lunge, I respect it. I'm actually waiting for the DRS on him. Oh, oh my god, I'm getting past him. Okay, that was a bit of a collision there. That's not good. I don't want to battle Alonso. I want to just keep the life going, you know? No, because I'm gonna, he's going to end up crashing into me. I'll crash into him. I'm trying to focus on doing that good laps, and he's going to ruin it for me because I have to keep opening the gate for him to make sure he doesn't just get squeezed out. Only 5.6 seconds of the gaps of car ahead. Okay. It'd be happening. We're catching them. But I think they're going to go into pit. Don't overtook that. Oh my god, need to it a lot. Send it, send it. He's got DRS. It's fine. Go, 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 son. Go. You're good. They're pulling away from us. Don't let it happen. Oh, we've got a lot in the pit right now. Let's see if we get past him. He done me in. Oh, Alonso. Why have you done that then? Oh, God. Oh, oh, I hate it. I hate to hit. Lots of traffic. I don't like it. With Verstappen and Albon. Alonso. I would almost rather be away from them back to where I was doing before. It was nice. It was fun. Ugh. We're doing the Red Bull win. Okay, Jamie's in the pit. <laughs> that worked. That was filth, by the way. It's P7 I'm in right now. That was wild. Oh, God. Gas has gone past me surely here. Unless I can hold this inside line. Don't, sque don't squeeze me, I said. So this tactic has not backfired awfully yet. But notice how I said yet. Because we are on lap 10 of 18. Our tyre wear is at 20% already. And they could fall more. Oh my god. I can't turn in if you're doing that, lads. Right, how long can these tyres hold on for? That's the question. Can we get pick up one or two points here? Will I fall out of the top ten? So there's like quite a close quarters street circuit. You've got to be more instant. So it doesn't mean any instance. Maybe I spoke too soon. We'll see. Oh my god. He's on my inside. I should let them, pa I should let them pass because I, I should just get the RS off them because they're now going to go blitz past me probably here, right? Right? Am I gonna fight him again? Yellow flag. Yellow flag. Overtaking through the yellow flags. I did it already. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I've been done in by someone here. That's gonna be my fault. We know that much, don't we? But I'll cut in. And he's clipped. Yeah. yeah, he's got no room. He's clipped me out, and then he's got stuck underneath me. Oh, Hamilton's in the... He's out of session. That'd be big for the constructors and the championship here, by the way. Wait, Red Bull were winning. Yeah, and they fell off. That's not good, no. That's made it less exciting because you need a Mercedes to do well. Go on, get past him. It's awful. I'm side by side with Verstappen. I've got Albon ahead of me. Oh my god. There's no room. I can't a race. Oh my god, my back end's going. My grip's going on my tyres. I can feel it. Not feeling so fresh anymore. Yuki Tsunoda's breathing down my neck as well. Straight away, they're away from me. Look, I'm actually out of DRS instantly. <laughs> I've been killed here. I've been destroyed. Decimated, in fact. As I fall down the grid some more. Tumbling down the table. Me versus Nodo on the straight. He's got DRS. So stroll. Late break beats him, but that's what I've got. So I run out. I'm running out of steam here. All oh, my tyres are not in good condition. Okay, this is where the strategy is going to fall off a little bit, I think. Oh my god. It... What? Whoa, what's going on here, lads? It's not Destruction Derby, it's Formula 1. Yeah, as you can see, I think we put up one that we can chew here. We can get announcements that let us know that we have uh, we're going to start using tire grip now. It was an interesting tactic to pit where we did. We kind of had to pit because my, my front wing was done in. We're like four wide going into this turn here, by the way. This is not going to end well. I don't know what we're expecting as a, as a group here, lads. Oh my god.
Don't you dare break, Stroll. All right, we're in P10, but there is a lot of cars around me right here. All right, here we go. Back on the straight again. As the fight commences. My God, Ocon's going at like crazy speeds. And my top speed's high. I think the... Ah! Ocon, please, ever again. Ow. Ow. Oh, that's just falling apart here. I'm stuck here behind these two now. I had to... Oh, my God. I've survived that damage there. I've got a warning, but I've survived without damage. Oh my god, where the heck? Bloody hell. Okay, Bloody so hell! It's all falling apart here, mate. It was all going so well. I thought I got better at racing. Ooh. I've got to return to my correct position, which is... I'm, I'm, I think it's ahead. What? Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm very confused. Tell me to, you told me to get my position back and I've done it and now I can't overtake. Oh, they're, they're pitting. Is that smart? Lap 15? No. That's actually stupid from them. I guess they get, I guess he's damaged his car. I have a damaged wing, but ultimately that's, we, we accept that I have fumbled the bag on this race. But I'm going to be close to everyone right at the end, at the death of the race, so who knows. Saying that, I might, I might just completely be out of the race. Okay. <laughs> In the safety car as well. Can they believe it? They want to catch a safety car queue. They're miles away. They're blitzing it. How fast is safety car going? Wait, how fast is the safety car going? It's about to get tested. If we can just get these lots to speed up a little bit and catch up with the queue. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Right, my car will not turn left, just so you know. I have no left turn. All right, last lap here, by the way. There are battles ahead of me. Ah, uh, I'm about to say play your cards where you get any action, but I messed up that turn. Wait, Chadwick's right next to me. Go on, son. Let's go. Um, let's not go. Go away. Genuinely close overtaking me there, by the way. George Russell takes the win. See Alonso, who pitted with me at the same time earlier on the race, is in P17. Two positions behind me. Chadwick, only one position behind me. And it's a P60, 15, right, 15, 16 right, finish. It wasn't my greatest uh, performance there. It started off all right. No, I just, I panic. In the street circuits, I panic when there's so many cars around me. And until I'm very good at the circuit, I need to break in times right, break in distance right. And I just back out of battle sometimes. Or I do some shit house defending. I need to improve at the game massively there. Right, there you go, George Russell on the podium. Norris and a Carlos Sainz. So Russell could still be competing here in the actual standings itself. So Stappen only got six points. Oh, so we go into the last race of the season with a George Russell versus Max Verstappen face-off. At the same time, Mercedes can take the constructors as well. They're only 27 points away from Red Bull. So it takes one bad day for Red Bull and Mercedes take the lead. I mean, ooh, I don't know. You know what? Like today is a 20-point gap. So is that's very feasible it takes basically Russell's come first and fastest lap and Max come third and that'd be a tie for the championship so it could get tasty on the final race of the season the final episode of the series here on Zerka plays over at Yas Marina Abu Dhabi but yeah there we go that's our first ever stint and run of the brand new Las Vegas circuit will be happening what in like November this year if you enjoyed it leave a like on it I apologize for my performance it was very shoddy but I shall see you guys next time goodbye